So you may start doing that. Is the screen visible? Yes. It's visible. Yes. So the delegate of Germany will now read out the entire draft resolution A1. The sponsors of this resolution are Ethiopia, Germany, and India 1. The signatories are Spain, United Kingdom 1, and United Kingdom 2. The United Nations Security Council, underlining the ever-present necessity to keep people of the world safe from the pandemic by exercising all scientifically proven measures, deeply concerned about the shortage of medical masks across various countries, expressing its appreciation of countries taking actions and setting guidelines with respect to the use of masks in the community, fully aware of the false sense of security propagated by the widespread use of masks, welcoming the World Health Organization's latest guidelines on the use of non-medical as well as medical masks in the community, taking note of the increasing violence due to insecurity and dissatisfaction caused by the enforcement of masks. The resolves, one, urges all member states to make wearing of nose to mouth cover mandatory for all citizens when in public. Two, calls for all member states to set up centralized bodies consisting of eminent scientists and distinguished analysts with qualifications as predetermined by the respective governments to maintain an unbiased record of the changes in the number of infections and fatalities in order to gauge the effectiveness of mandatory masks in various regions of the world for the benefit of the scientific community. Three, encourages governments of member states to A, set down guidelines on mask etiquette in public to reduce danger of reverse transmission, that is, the transmission of virus due to improper handling. B, frame laws to ensure the safety of those who enforce the four set guidelines, as well as the WHO's guidelines on usage of masks in public. C, penalize individuals who do not follow guidelines set by the body. D, take responsibility for spreading awareness in the country through elaborate and omnipresent campaigns with respect to the adherence of necessary safety measures in addition to wearing masks, such as maintaining social distancing and hygiene, to prevent development of false sense of security due to masks in the general populace. E, encourage social workers, volunteers, non-governmental organizations and intellectuals to educate and help the illiterate and poor living in slums and remote regions regarding the importance of the various aforementioned safety measures. F, distribute non-medical masks at subsidized rates or at the government's cost as they deem fit to the poor. G, export excess masks, if any, to worse hit countries or to share them in the common spirit of brotherhood. Four, recommends the establishment of United Nations COVID Relief International Fund or UNCRIF, which will be taking compulsory funds from the permanent five of the Security Council as decided amongst themselves and voluntary funds from the non-permanent members to A, provide medical masks and protective equipment to countries with scarcity of resources and increasingly high fatality rates to protect frontline workers. B, offer monetary aid to developing countries with unstable economies after an official appeal is submitted to the Security Council and is approved by it. Five, proposes the setting up of the United Nations Mask Effectiveness Portal, UNMEP, which will be an online source of information focusing only on the effectiveness of masks and will be monitored and supervised by the World Health Organization, which will work with various research institutes across the country to A, provide verified and updated information to people across the globe regarding the latest research on the effectiveness of usage of masks to one, encourage greater willingness in usage of masks and reduce acts of violence, two, portray masks as an important means of protection, yet not the only means of protection in order to reduce the false sense of security provided by masks. B, offer a platform for scientists across the world to share developments in one, creation of ideal medical masks that are inexpensive and highly effective, two, discovery of strong evidence of the usefulness of non-medical masks or otherwise as the case may be. Six, stresses on the importance of self-production of masks by encouraging individuals and organizations to manufacture cost-effective and high-quality non-medical medical masks in accordance with standards set down by the United Nations to A, boost the country's economy, B, provide small-scale employment to the unemployed population. Seven, 
calls upon member states to set up specialized task forces and investigation units to a monitor and enforce the use of face masks in public in accordance with the who's guidelines b investigate acts of violence against medical professionals and security officers who try to enforce the use of masks and are attacked for doing their job and to punish individuals or groups who are found wanting for such heinous acts of violence eight directs the committee to set up an investigation panel into the various member states whose security officers have been accused of carrying out torture acts of torture and human rights abuses under the pretext of enforcing the law where the panel would a without fear or favor investigate the individual security officers of the member states who fall under their radar b recommend sanctions against member states found wanting especially when such rash actions by security forces are found to be carried carried out on orders of their governments that is the end of the draft resolution on point of constitutional privilege thank you delegates delegation of the united kingdom one please establish um so just to discuss amends just like to discuss amendments and where you could cut or cut some clauses could we go one to clause by clause like read yes. out one clause and then yes we'll be going that way this was just an overview of the entire uh, resolution draft resolution yes thank you madam chair if that's acceptable yes okay clause 1 urges all member states to make wearing of nose to mouth cover mandatory for all citizens when in public um can the delegate of uk one speak or delegate of france okay Yes, you can speak freely. Oh, okay. okay. So um, can the, can the delegate of France speak first? I guess the delegate right. raised his hand. Uh, raised the delegate's hand first. Just right, right. Okay, um, the delegate of Germany. Uh, this statement seems to be very vague. First of all, um, member states like New Zealand of United General uh, United Nations General Assembly do not have COVID nineteen cases, so uh, it is. um inefficient for them to um make it mandatory for citizens to wear nose mouth uh, cover mandatory and also um the this there is some vital flaws to this problem for like countries where cases are not that high madam do we have the system of friendly amendments unfriendly amendments yes okay so uh, the delegate would like to accept this as a friendly amendment yes um can the delegate of uk one speak can yeah uh, yeah okay so we all, not all citizens of all countries will be able to wear masks for example as uh, delegate of france like uh, delegate of france said new zealand doesn't have any active covid cases so it won't be needed over there but there are also other groups like for example children under 3 they will if they try to wear masks um, there will be cases of suffocation and for people of for people who have respiratory illnesses like asthma it will be very difficult for them and very uncomfortable for them too if they have to compulsorily wear masks delegate uh, one point that the delegate of germany would like to raise is that um for all citizens when in public children below the age of 3 first of all will not be taken out in public because the parents are very well aware of the fact that they are very likely to contract the illness in a neg- which can be fatal for them yes you seem to have some opposition yes um but we can't always rely on the fact that parental guidance there'll always be exceptions so to stay on the safer side let us make that clarification for children okay. below 3 delegate so what do you propose for children below 3 that they do not have any pr- protection no mask at least then what protection can oh. be proposed for them chair can can delegate of india is a sponsor so they can support as well yeah, uh, okay, yeah. one one thing the delegate would like for everybody to notice is that it's nose to mouth cover and not that it's fully masks and and research is done in greenwich and cambridge university suggests that even domestic made masks uh, or in india as you can take people have been start using the clothes so that is also given as a evidence to re- dramatic dramatically reduce the transmission rate and uh, nobody in right mind in the time of covid 19 no respiratory uh, respiratory weak person would go outside because 
the person knows that he or he or the person has a pre-existing condition for COVID-19 and COVID-19 is, main, is mainly a resp respiratory disease. So first of all, in reply to that, you can't always depend on human behavior. I mean, sorry, the, del the house cannot depend on human behavior. There are, as, I, as the delegate of UK had said before, there'll always be exceptions. Even if they're in the right minds, some people with respiratory illnesses will have to step out. Delegate of UK one, uh, your recommendation is valued for people with respiratory disorders, not for children under the age of three. So, because children under the age of three cannot step out because they, do, they won't have any protection if not nose to mouth cover. Uh, for people who have respiratory disorders, that can be accepted as a friendly resolution, a friendly amendment. Very well, thank you. Thank you, delegates. <clears throat> delegates. Um, this session will be ended in 10 minutes, just to let you know. You may continue. Um, point of parliamentary. Um, Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so, um, as we the use of, um, mandatory covering for people. Now, as much as we have no masks, we also have face masks, face masks that can be worn. We are like, um, headband. Point of personal privilege, delegate. Point of personal privilege, Chair. Yeah? Yes. Uh, the delegate of Ethiopia is not audible. Yes, yes delegate, could audible. you please reestablish? Oh, I'm sorry, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear better. Yes, we can yeah. hear you better now. Okay, I'm sorry. I thank you for giving me that um, correction. So, the delegate was saying, as much as we have nose masks, we also have face masks that can be worn like a um, hairband. So they don't necessarily have to lap onto the face. They are like face shield, the same type that um, welders put on. So you don't, it, it doesn't necessarily choke or cover um, the nose or is lapped onto the face, but it basically serves the same function to cover the face and prevent the transmission of droplets from one person to the other. So for children who are below three or people who have a critical illness, Point of, point, of inform, point of personal privilege. Okay, the delegate, uh, of, be, be a bit more the delegate of Germany can uh, tell the points. The delegate of Ethiopia was saying that it's not just the wearing of nose to mouth cover, but also the face masks that are available, which can be used by people with respiratory disorders and with children by children under the age of three. So that was basically the delegate's point. Or people who are. Uh, people with respiratory disorders. May we move on to the next clause, delegates? Yes. Point I, of I personal guess. privilege before that. Establish. Uh, Chair, after this meeting ends, it's the end of the session, right? Yes. Okay. Point Although you can, you can uh, continue working on this if you want to. Point of parliamentary inquiry, Chair. Yeah. Will this unmoderated caucus continue on in the next session because this resolution is quite big and I don't the delegation doesn't think it will be over within five minutes. Yes, don't, don't worry. Um, you can you you delegations you delegations can propose it in the next session to open it. Thank you, Chair. Thank the you. Point of inquiry. Yeah. Uh, the delegate of Ireland would like to ask uh, that in the beginning of the draft resolution, uh, it was written that use of. Uh, cloth masks and uh, like medical masks. So isn't medical masks also known as surgical masks only uh, should be used by the frontline health workers uh, rather than the by using them, uh, like the civilians using them? The delegate of Germany would request you to mention where that was mentioned in the preamble? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. In the beginning. This one, this one, the World Health Organization, this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the delegate has just written that the committee welcomes the World Health Organization's latest guidelines on the use of non-medical as well as medical masks. So the, the, they have published guidelines on these uses. I hope that uh, is clear. But the medical mask should uh, only be used by the frontline health workers, right? That was mentioned in the guidelines by the World Health Organization and is not being proposed in this resolution. That is a part Thank of the you. preamble. Thank you. Moving on to clause two. 
calls for all member states to set up centralized bodies consisting of eminent scientists and distinguished analysts with qualifications as predetermined by the respective governments to maintain an unbiased record of the changes in the number of infections and fatalities in order to gauge the effectiveness of mandatory masks in various regions of the world for the benefit of the scientific community. Yes, can the delegate of France speak? Recognized. Delegate of Germany. It's an unmoderated caucus, so I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so um, just for one first qualification is that these centralized bodies will be uh, inside the member states or will it be a, a centralized body internationally? Because it is not, it is not explain, explanatory by the clause that is being explained here. To set up centralized bodies within the member states? Within the member states, so it's not an international body. No. Uh, secondly, um, why should there be a, why is there a need for an unbiased record of changes in the number of infections when multiple types of scores are already being taken by much more responsible organizations such as the John Hopkins University? Um, so isn't this, isn't this quite um, sort of useless? Um, the delegate of French Republic, could you clearly state what is being recorded by the John Hopkins University in brief? The number of cases in all types of countries throughout the world, and it keeps the, it keeps the main tally on how many COVID-19 cases are there throughout the world. Okay, delegate, uh, the delegate of Germany would like to draw your attention to the phrase that says, in order to gauge the effectiveness of mandatory masks in various regions of the world, meaning that when masks are made mandatory, the Centralized bodies will measure whether there is a decline, no difference, or increase in the number of cases. Thus, they will be able to gauge not just whether the masks are effective or not, but also whether it depends on where the region is located. Thus, it will be useful for the scientific community when they are preparing you know, various types of masks and uh, keeping in mind whatever solutions are being found. Okay. consistent inside the member states and it's not in that one that is accepted that is accepted thank you yes thank you moving on to the third clause encourages governments of member states to a set down guidelines and mask etiquette in public to reduce danger of reverse transmission that is the transmission of virus due to improper handling we can go um you know in the delegate one UK? by one yes sure um, so the delegate of UK just advises the delegate of Germany or its sponsors, a sponsor of the well draft resolution, to add one more subclause. In Maybe this, a, okay, what? Yeah. Sure, please suggest. Um, that the police force is the one that enforces the mandatory mask delegate guidelines. Of UK, your mute or something. Am I? Um, I mean, is the delegate, you. delegate of France? We can hear you. We can hear the delegate of UK. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, so um, it might be something on the side of delegate of France. Can can the delegate repeat it again, please? Delegates, yeah. before you continue, I just want to mention that we have uh, two minutes left of this session. Yeah. Madam Chair, can we continue the discussion on the chat group? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, so that tomorrow we can directly start with the voting if we are satisfied with all the with the, that all the clauses have been discussed. Of course. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Chair. You're welcome. You, Chair. Delegate of UK1, please repeat your amendment. Yeah, um, so the Delegate of UK1 would ask for an, another subclause that states that the police force of the, of the countries should be the ones that enforce or implement the mandatory mask guidelines. Because if it's, say, shop workers or something, there are inc increased, ch okay, increased chances delegate, of attacks. Delegate, I'm really sorry to interrupt, but uh, this clause talks about what the governments of member states should be doing. There is a clause further down that mm. talks about, um, just a second, calls upon member states to set up specialized task forces to monitor and enforce the use of face masks in public. Is that satisfactory, Delegate 1 of UK? All right, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Um, Motion to suspend the meeting, Chair. You're in our delegate. Who seconds 